Good afternoon, Thunder fans, and welcome to Lenexa, Kansas for the 2022 National Christian Homeschool Volleyball Championships. We're so glad you could join us. This is Coach Kevin and I'll be bringing you all the action as we track our 18U girls varsity team through this tournament. We are just moments away from the opening game for your Thunder in this year's national championship. They are gonna square off against the Chippewa Valley crew from Wisconsin. We don't know anything about this team. Uh, this is their first time here, their first appearance at the national tournament. They are the top seed in the pool, so we expect a scrap here. Thunder come in as the number three seed in the pool. Regardless of finish today, all teams will advance to gold bracket play tomorrow, but how you play today will determine who you play tomorrow. So Thunder looking to get out long and strong here in the opening going. Starters are on the floor for the Thunder. It'll be number four, Lexi Sanborn, number nine, Emily Force. Middle blocker is number seven, Avery Leonard. The left side hitter is number 16, Sarah Barbosa in the back row. Zone five, that's number 20, True Fleming. And starting at the middle back is number 22, Olivia Cox. She'll play the other middle blocker position. And the libero, Haley Dyer, will take Cox's spot after the lineup gets checked. He likes what he sees. And Dyer checks into the game. Thunder with a lot of fire, a lot of passion, and they're going to need it if they're going to scrap out what they need today. Three games on tap for today. This is the first. They'll come back in a couple of hours and square off against the Metro KC Mavericks in the first of back-to-back -back games. They'll follow that with a matchup against the Chap Chariots. Coach Chris gives some instructions to Olivia Cox. In the early going, ball is in hand, lineups checked on both sides. Just one referee working today, and we have one of the best in the business. This is Ira Young from Dallas, Texas. He is well known around these homeschool parts and just does a fantastic job. We're blessed to have him. We're blessed to have all of you too. Glad you could join us and so glad we could bring you all of this action from Lenexa, Kansas. It's going to be exciting three days up here, and we hope you'll follow along as the Thunder compete for the first time in the national championship. High hopes here as they are in Division Three. They'll be competing only against younger varsity teams, teams that have an average age of 16 years or less. We're checking some things at the head table here on the right of your screen. Looks like Mr. Ira Young likes what he sees. This is why the kids always like him, because he does it for the kids. You see him give Lexi Sanborn the hair flip and Avery Leonard the high five. He's just an easygoing guy, a, fa a player favorite here. All right, Ira climbs the stanchion, and the crew will have the first serve from the far court. They're wearing black, your Thunder wearing black. There's the serve, and we are underway. And automatically, without touching the ball, Thunder are going to take the lead. We've got a foot fault on the first serve of the match. What a way for the Thunder to start. Thunder will substitute early. Lisey Criddle replaces True Fleming. She'll play front row right side. And Emily Force has the first serve. There's the signal. Force back. Takes a big breath. Well behind the service line and parks one at the left back. Passes high to the center. Set back to the middle blocker. Soft attack. Barbosa's under it but reaching and it goes into the stands. The crew will score the first point on their side. 1-1 one, one our score. This is a Best of three match, I believe. Maybe, no, just two sets today, just two sets. High serve at the libero. That's Haley Dyer, pass to Sanborn in the middle. Her set is over, Got rescued by Dyer over the net. Here come Crew, back to base, left side attack, down the line, deep corner attack is in. Neither Sanborn nor Dyer can get to it. Crew liked the placement, it wasn't a hard shot, but a beautifully placed ball. And I'm expecting that from a disciplined team here, who's seated number one in this Division Three, Second serve of the run now coming from Crew. High serve at Dyer. Sent over in two by Sanborn. That's a double. Quick whistle by the referee. So three state straight for the Crew after Thunder drew first blood. Blue numbers on black for that crew team. Hard to even see the numbers with the players. Trickles off the top of the net. Diving beautiful play by Dyer. Keeps the Thunder in business. They're back to base. Slap ball over in two, and Dyer can't make it to that one in time. 
They're going to have to take care of the middle of the floor there. They've given up four straight. And that was a sloppy kill to give up. Coach Chris Valdez with his back to you on the camera in his first season. He's done a marvelous job here for the Thunder. Has the team with the winning record coming into this national tournament. Sent over in three with a free ball. Force has a dig. Sanborn uses hands. Left side, Barbosa hard swing. In front of the end line and down for the kill. Best play for the Thunder those in the early going. They'll side out there. Middle blockers will switch out as Dyer has to serve. Avery Leonard will head to the bench. Dyer is now replacing her as Olivia Cox will play middle blocker in the front row. Dyer to serve from the far left of the court. Short serve. Drops in for an ace and from the right back. Beautiful placement by Haley Dyer. Second serve by Dyer at the left back. This one shanked into the rough stands. Back-to-back -back aces by Haley Dyer. And the Thunder have drawn level at 4-4. Pretty good turnout of Thunder fans here to support the New Braunfels team. Overpass, Sanborn's under it. High to Dyer, left side, Barbosa hard swing. Off the net, down for the kill. Four in a row now for the Thunder as they have taken the lead. Chris Valdez has attacked the five player, cut off pass, sent over the net. Dyer's pass is too tight to the net, and Sanborn called for being in the net, trying to rescue the tight pass. So the right ends there were tied again at five, first set in this two set affair. Crew will substitute for the first time in this match. It's number nine, and little rotation confusion there. It'll be her serve. Ira gives instructions from the Top of the ref stand and puts the ball in play. Barbosa high pass. Second touch by Dyer. Forrest gives instructions and it's a reverse free ball by Cox. Now rattles around on the other side. Sent over with a high push and poor communication by Dyer and Sanborn is going to allow the crew to get the point. Thunder had the advantage on that ball but could not put it away. Three lead changes in the early going here. Top spin serve, Dyer plays it straight to her center. Left side attack for Cox inside the antenna, but played up. Now a middle attack for the crew. Force has to dig. Sanborn sets behind her. Here's Lisey Criddle, cross court attack. Crew keep it alive. Longest rally of the match comes to an end on a missed set by the crew, and we are level once again at six. Exciting game as the two teams trade points here. Thunder will rotate, and Sarah Barbosa will serve. Barbosa. Goes to the right back. High pass. Set from the right side. Early jump and this time by the middle blocker. Thunder will score on the mistake. Stronger served by Barbosa. And the crew can't handle it. Off of the foot of the middle back. Thunder have opened up a two-point lead. Largest of the match. Barbosa again goes after the middle back. Pass is cut off. Bump set, left side, high free ball. Force is under it. Perfect pass straight to Barbosa. High set, tight to the net. Sanborn flips it over and it's not playable by the crew. Thunder in the groove now. That's four in a row. They lead by three. Quick serve by Barbosa, flat and fast. Crew keep it alive, but it's coming free. Dyer, straight to the center, dumps no good. Right back over in one. Cox is there. This time Barbosa, beautiful set to the right side. And Lisey Criddle just misses over the end line. Nice attack by the Thunder there. They just don't get it done. Side out crew. No gimmies here at the Nationals. We're gonna have to scrap if we want this one. Number 13 with the serve right at Forrest. She plays inside out. Rescued by Sanborn over in two. Dump attempt and a wise attempt by the crew setter. She saw the hole in the corner and attacked it. That's the second time the Thunder have been beaten on a soft attack to the deep corner. High serve. 
Sanborn's pass straight to her center, bumps that behind her. Cradle goes cross court. Beautiful swing played back by the crew. Nice defense. Forces under it. Thunder with the advantage. And Barbosa's attack doesn't make it over the net. Pass a little tight to the net. She telegraphed her push. There was definitely a defender in her way. We're tied once again. High serve at Sanborn. Beautiful pass. Barbosa back to Sanborn. Hard swing off the block touch. Down for the kill. Thunder bend but don't break. They don't surrender the lead there after letting it get tied again and they allow reinforcements to hit the floor. Fleming back into the lineup for Lisey Criddle. And this will be the first action for Jocelyn Perez who replaces Emily Force. Perez will play right side in the front row and Fleming has the serve. High serve by Fleming at the middle back. Pass tight to the net and Sanborn's defensive attack is into the net. Point to the crew. We are tied once again. High soft serve. Easy pass by Dyer. Sent over and two. And this time Sanborn catches a napping. Punched it over her head and hit the dead spot on the floor on the crew side. Middle blockers will switch. Dyer will get a quick break and Cox will serve. High toss, top spin serve. Untouched in the corner. That's an ace for Olivia Cox. She's got that top spin serve that can be difficult to judge in play. Crew try to adjust as the Thunder lead by two. This time at the middle back. Play down to the back row, high bump set. Push attempt is right at Leonard. That's a double. Thunder are gonna score. An illegal contact was indeed the call, but either way, Thunder will score the point. Third serve of the run is a beauty for Cox at the left back. Bump set over in two. Fleming's under it. Barbosa has to navigate her way to get there. Down ball fight for Sanborn. Back to base. Now a free ball is missed. Crew was setting up for the free ball and the ball drops with a little miscommunication. Thunder now up by four. And the referee is gonna call the captain over. Four point lead is the largest of the match for the Thunder. Here's the signal for Cox to continue the run. Fifth serve of the run, a beauty at the middle back. Well passed, front row set. Left side swing is going out of bounds and everybody knows it. Players call it, bench calls it. High fives all around as the Thunder have opened up a five point lead. Olivia Cox, the difference at the serve line here. It's that top spin serve with power. This time again at the middle back. This one passed into the scorer's table. She's got another ace and the Thunder on a run. Crew are gonna take the first time out. Time out on the floor, Thunder 16, Crew 10. You're watching Thunder Volleyball on Thunder TV. Back on the floor here in Lenexa, Kansas, Thunder lead the Chippewa Valley Crew 16-10 in the first set of this two set affair. And Olivia Cox resumes the serve out of the timeout. She has absolutely dominated the game and she's gonna score another one there as the crew make another mistake from the center position. A double touched ball. Easily the largest lead of the match for the Thunder. Another beautiful serve. It was gonna land in the corner. Crew decided to touch it anyway. Sorry, put that point on the wrong side. 18-10 our score. What a serve run by Liv Cox. This one's another beauty and ace. Two touches, no control though. That thing was dropping like a major league curve in front of the middle back, who looks resigned. She's standing straight up. Liv's going right at her again. This one cut off by the right back. Bump set, back row attack coming. Hard swing, and Fleming lets it go out of bounds. Trouble is, it didn't go out of bounds. Well in bounds, she gave up on it way too early. So the run ends there. Side out to the crew, but not before Thunder have opened up an eight point lead. Crew gonna get a substitution in here and it'll be number 12 to serve. High toss, easy serve, handled by Sanborn. Barbosa left side, left-handed attack by Leonard. Goes over, dug by the crew. Middle swipe, sloppy. 
Dig by Sanborn, there's a left-handed attack by Perez, deep in the corner, rescued by Crew, coming back free. Leonard, Barbosa in between the two, and the Thunder have to free ball it. Back to even now, here comes the left side swing, deep corner, Barbosa digs this time. Leonard with a left-handed swing for the kill. Aggressive play for Avery Leonard is gonna be fortuitous. Thunder with the quick side out. Credit Sarah Barbosa with a standing dig there as the crew tried to attack that deep corner for the third time. This time didn't let him get away with it. Lexi Sanborn with a fast serve at the top of the order. It was headed out of bounds, but the player made the mistake of trying to play it, and then it was too late. Reinforcements couldn't arrive on time. Power ace for Lexi Sanborn. Ten-point lead for the Thunder, cruising here in the first set. Sanborn with a much better serve this time. Drops in front of the defender. That ace is true and untouched. And the crew don't know what hit him. Sanborn with that power serve. Finally put up by the crew. Sent over soft. And that one's going to catch the Thunder in the middle of the floor. They seem to be vulnerable in that spot. I'm sure Coach Chris will make an adjustment in between sets. High serve, easy at Barbosa. Sanborn back to Barbosa. Hard slap, cross court, power kill for the outside hitter. Thunder will rotate, needing two to score. Criddle for Fleming, force for Perez. Force will have the serve. <coughs> Flat and in between the defenders. Rescued somehow by Crew, comes back free. Criddle sees it. Sanborn sets high to the middle, and a double touch whistled. Don't agree with the call, but I don't agree with them all. I do trust Ira as the ref, and so we'll just agree to let that one be a side out. Thunder will hold on to a 10 point lead. Chris seems to accept it as uh, they have a little conversation about it. And that's what I do like about Ira. Is it just, really understands the game. He knows what a coach is thinking. Beautiful serve this time by the crew. Crested on the other side of the net, was dropping in altitude as it came over and too quick for Haley Dyer to react. 23-14 our score, first set. This one easier for Dyer to handle, but the pass too tight to the net, back to back for the crew. This is the spot where the Thunder want to finish, want to finish quick, want to finish strong. Points could come into play in pool assignments as well, so high serve this time. Played by Criddle. Bump set to the middle. Sanborn back to Criddle. Roll shot is long, deep, out of bounds. Make that four straight for the crew, and Coach Chris will spend the time out. 23-16, Thunder lead. You're watching Thunder Volleyball on Thunder TV. Thunder take the floor first in Lenexa, Kansas. Crew a little slower to respond. They're down by seven and trying to figure out how to salvage this first set. Thunder looking to put it on ice. Service flattened into the net. Beautiful use of timeout by Coach Chris. He scores that one as the team rotates and Haley Dyer will serve from the left corner of your screen for set point. Jump served by Dyer down the line in front of the right back. Played out of the right side. Bump set back into play and free ball to the Thunder. Force is under it. Set with hands by Sanborn to Cox. She can't put it away. Push attempt is over. Dyer gets there in time. And Barbosa's attack looked like it was in the antenna. It was right in front of the referee. He did not make the antenna call and said allowed the kill to fall. And the Thunder are going to win set number one. 25 to 16. Looks like we're going to switch sides of the court. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back from the other side. Stick with us. You're watching Thunder Volleyball on Thunder TV. Welcome back to Lenexa, Kansas. Indeed, we are going to stay on this side of the floor, and that's a good thing because we've got a great vantage point for all the action between your girls' varsity NB Thunder volleyball team and the Chippewa Valley crew. Thunder win the first set, 25-16. This is just two sets today in pool play, so one more set will count as a win. If not, it'll come down to points. Starters on the floor here for set number two here. It'll be number nine, Emily Force, in the right back position ahead of her. 
is number seven, Avery Leonard. Sarah Barbosa is in the middle. Lisey Criddle at the front left. Uh, Livia Cox back left, just checked out for the libero, Haley Dyer. And Lexi Sanborn, same start as you saw in the first set. Difference is the Thunder will have the first serve here and it'll be Emily Forrest with the honor. There's the whistle and Forrest puts the ball in play at the right back, passed up, set out of the back row, here it comes free, and Barbosa says thank you very much. She doesn't wait for a set on her team, she takes the overpass and puts it right at 60, uh, 30 feet. Second serve of the run now, coming for Forrest. Beautiful serve in the middle of the floor, overpass and out of bounds, that's an ace for Emily Forrest. Quick and early lead for the Thunder, and they want to keep it rolling. Chris has given them instructions to work quickly, and Forrest does. A fast, flat serve. Left back passes it over. Sanborn's under it. Dyer with the second touch. Bumps that to the left side. Barbosa's attack is into the antenna, and it's side out crew. <laughs> the crew serve quickly. Passed out of the front row by Sanborn. They set up Leonard on the right side, whose attack just misses over the end line. 2-2 our score. Second set. Thunder leading one set to none in this two-set affair. Spinning serve, beautifully played by Criddle. Right to her center, didn't have to move. Inside set for Barbosa down the line. Crew keep it alive. Free ball coming back. Force, perfect placement. Sanborn this time high in the middle to Leonard. Her attack way too high, and the crew will score on the air. They will gain the lead. This one in front of Dyer, low pass, right at the center, and Barbosa in system, and two full effect, puts it down the line inbounds. She's had three kills already in this match to that magnitude. That'll allow the Thunder to rotate. The middle blockers will switch, Leonard to the bench. Cox back to the floor, and here is the libero Dyer to serve. That patented step, step, hop, and pop right at the right back. Bump set to the right side, middle attack, dug by Force. Sanborn underneath, high set with hands. Cox swipes out of the middle, rattles around. Not quite down, back free again. Barbosa, Sanborn back to Barbosa, this hard swing out of bounds. Barbosa is hitting the ball hard, but that one not downward enough. Forrest Dyer Barbosa in serve received. Down by one, second set. Easy float serve. Forrest plays it perfectly to the middle of the floor. To the right side attack for Criddle down the line. Can't quite catch him napping, but we're going to get a free ball back in return. Dyer sent over in two by Sanborn. Now crew stay in system. High set to the middle, and that attack is slapped into the net. We've seen that middle blocker, number 13, this time her jump a couple of times already. That's kind of the attack I think you want the other team to make if you're a Thunder fan. Here's Barbosa serving right to left and caught the right back napping. Beautiful placement by Sarah Barbosa. An ace and the Thunder are back in front. This time Barbosa from the right side goes down the line, brought back into play, too tight to the net, and Cox, sorry, Sanborn is in the net. Substitutions on the crew side of the floor, number nine will come in to serve. It'll be Sanborn, Forrest, and Dyer in serve receive, tied up at five. High toss, top spin, Force gets under it. Too tight to the net. Sanborn can't stay on her side of the net. This time Barbosa sends it over in two, gets back to base, and the dump attempt is a little aggressive by Crew. Referee doesn't like it and says, nope. So the Thunder will side out, they'll score the point. We're tied up again. True Fleming replaces Annalise Criddle 
as she rotates to the back row. Layla Aaron will take place of Emily Force in the front row. Fleming with a nice serve right in between the middle back and the right back for an ace. Hard to play, poor communication, and you can look for Fleming to work that spot again. Coach Chris barks the signal over to her, and she does indeed go right to the same spot. Better pass out of the right back position. Double handed attack out of the middle. This time is over. Thunder with a block touch, but not enough to keep it on the wrong side of the net, right side of the net, rather. First set was a lot like this. These two teams traded blows before Olivia Cox's serve run put the Thunder comfortably in front. We'll see what happens if the Thunder are able to pull away here. Beautiful front row pass by Barbosa. Goes back over the net. Cox with the rescue. Barbosa back to Cox. Beauty attack deep and unplayable. Smart attack by Olivia Cox. She saw the hole in defense and put the ball down at 29 feet. They'll rotate and speak of the devil. She is at the serve line. One point lead and this is the point where the Thunder pulled away in the last set. Doesn't like her toss, gonna let it drop. She'll get one more crack at this. Much better toss in front of her, top spin serve. Played by the middle back, too tight to the net, and this is how it starts. That crew struggles with that top spin serve of Cox's. She goes after her again, better pass this time. Bump set by two players, coming over sloppy. Sanborn under it. Leonard wants it, Barbosa gives it to her, and a hard slam for the kill. You saw that brewing, and pretty to see Emily Leonard with the smooth left-handed finish. Third serve for Cox, a quick one. Fast, flat, overpass. Barbosa sees it, keeps it alive. Thunder are gonna send it over free, and it's a beautiful attack ball, just a little deep and unplayable. Out of bounds, rather. Nice effort by the Thunder to keep that alive. Side out crew, Thunder by two, second set. Top spin serve at Dyer, easily played. Barbosa facing her right side, goes to Aaron. Aaron goes to the six hole. It doesn't fall, but coming back free, not gonna make it over the net. Thunder will score the point anyway. Nice attack by Layla Aaron. Top of the, no, bottom of the serve order. Here's Lexi Sandborn. Sanborn fast and flat and unplayable. When Lexi's in her element, it is tough to handle that serve. When she can keep it in bounds, it has a high probability of producing an ace. She has got that back line of the crew just absolutely befuddled. Again, strong and goes after him, but that's in the net. And that's the downside of that fast flat serve of Sanborn's. It is error prone. High toss, easy serve, front row. Leonard keeps it on her side, sent over and two by Sanborn. Heads up play by Lexi Sanborn. Not to let that continue to develop. So quick rotations for the Thunder. Colonel and Force back on the floor, Fleming and Aaron to the bench. Force at the top of the serve order has the serve with a four point lead. Floater at the middle back. Bump set, back row. Middle attack coming, Leonard's under it. Good communication by Sanborn. They can't quite stay in system, but they are back to base. Force tries to make the front row rescue and can't do it. Nice attack by the crew. Thunder want to at least get to 16 points. That's as many as the crew scored, so that will ensure a victory in the in the pool standings anyway. Beautiful bump set left side and Sarah Barbosa with the hammer kill. She's got at least five of those early in the going here. Quick side out by the Thunder and the libero Dyer will serve from the left corner. Dyer's serve is played over the net from the left back position. Force, perfect pass to her center. Sanborn Barbosa again goes down the line. Back to back Jack for Sarah Barbosa. Two in a row, and the Thunder have opened up the five-point lead in the second set.
Thunder need two more points to ensure victory in this match. Overpass, and this communication is going to drop in Thunderland. That'll burn you up. A beautiful serve wasted, and Dyer and Force couldn't decide whose ball it was. Now the serve coming from the crew side is a spinner at Barbosa. High pass, Sanborn, back to Barbosa. Too sharp on the cross court attack. It is into the stands and out of bounds for the hitting air. Don't see a lot of fans for this crew team who only came from Wisconsin. I say only Wisconsin, but we are in the Kansas City area, so it's no further than the New Braunfels trip for sure. There's the mistake on the other side of the net. Service error will send it back to the Thunder. Barbosa to the line with a four point lead. Thunder need just one more point to ensure victory in this match. Barbosa with a spinner right to left. Bump set back into play, attack into the deep corner. Dyer sees it. What a rescue ball by Haley Dyer. And a beautiful attack. Reverse free ball is going to go too long and out of bounds. Second time that the Thunder have seen that deep corner attack and rescued it, only to give the point away on a mistake on the free ball. Chris Valdez wants to spend the timeout. Timeout on the floor, Thunder 16. Crew 13, you're watching Thunder Volleyball on Thunder TV. Time to break the huddle first and ready to resume work here in Lenexa, Kansas. They've got a 16-13 lead. One more point will ensure a match victory, but they'd like to get the set victory and the sweep, and they'll need to get to 25 to do that. Substitution on the crew side now. Number nine will come in to serve to Sanborn, Force, and Dyer. Chris making the adjustment at the timeout. This serve high, straight at Dyer. Beautiful pass. Right side set to Criddle. Attack is not incredibly sharp. And crew stay in system. The dump on the second touch is going to be good for a kill. This one hit Force. Pass is high and a little tight for Barbosa, who's got a little dump action of her own. She sends hers over in two and gets her kill. Another quick rotation round for, for the Thunder. Fleming replaces Criddle, Aaron replaces Force. Thunder lead by three, and Fleming has the serve. Left side of your screen. Short front row, up, set high, and over the net, hammered away by Liv Cox with a two-handed double tap. You leave that thing hanging in the zone for Olivia Cox, and she's got a nose to put it down. Another beautiful serve by Fleming. Dump attempt is a little too aggressive. The setter is trying to get them on the quick dump, but she's shaking those shoulders and carrying the ball when she does it. Not giving the defense a fair chance to react, and the referee sees it, gives the point to the Thunder. Third serve by True, untouched ace. She put it in the other corner. And the crew didn't know what hit them. Thunder have definitely won the match, but they need five to complete the sweep. This time, True goes after the left back. Pass, set to the middle, and attacked at Fleming. She's got the dig. Dyer with the second touch. Thunder settle for a free ball back. Second attack coming from the middle, and this one's good. In the scene and down for the kill. Beautifully set up and executed by the crew when they needed it. So the crew will rotate, it's the middle blocker, number 13 to serve. Serving at Aaron Dyer, Fleming, and Cox. It's Dyer, perfect pass. Set high behind her by Barbosa. Sanborn's able to flip it over. Push attack is over, pass flat by Fleming. Cox sends it over in two. Comes back in two, this time Thunder stay in system. Sanborn with a push attack into the corner won't fall. Longest rally of the set. They go to the corner, Barbosa has the dig. Dyer's there. Aaron now with a soft attack. Beautiful off-speed pitch by Layla Aaron to score the kill right over the right blocker. Olivia Cox now to the service line, and she needs four to finish off the match. Beautiful toss in front of her, and a hard power serve over the inline. No question that was out of bounds. The crew knew it, let it go. 
lot of adrenaline going right there. Coach Chris gives her some instructions and she'll head to the bench. High roll shot at Dyer and called in by the line judge. Just right in front of the end line. That's a thunder line judge, so you gotta believe she's making the best call. This time a shorter serve, front row, Fleming dives and gets there. Bump set by Barbosa, the right side, cross court attack by Aaron. Sent back in one. Barbosa's late on arrival and returns it in one. Now in system, left side attack, beautiful diving attempt by Leonard, but it's out of bounds. Short attack from the left side and the Thunder are gonna spend their last time out. 21-18 our score. Stick with us for the conclusion on Thunder TV. So that's the longest Coach Chris has taken in a timeout so far in this match. Really had some last minute instructions for the team as they go into this final stretch of the second set. Thunder lead 21-18. Serve coming from the far side of the court. That's the Chippewa Valley crew of Wisconsin. And a beautiful punch over by Barbosa. I know that wasn't the play call in the huddle, but when the pass is tight to the net, she hit it over at exactly the correct angle to secure the kill. Thunder will rotate and Sanborn at the service line, leading by four. Power served by Sanborn, played by the middle back, set back to the middle. Over easy and miscommunication between Leonard and Barbosa. That ball is going to be down on the Thunder side of the net. 22-19 our score. Substitutions coming from the far side. High toss, spinning serve, brought back into play by Barbosa, and no control by the Thunder. That's a four touch. Struggling to put this set away. They've been in lead, but they've got to get across the finish line. Lead trimmed to two. Barbosa, Fleming, Dyer, and serve receive left to right. Jocelyn Perez now checks into the game, replacing Layla Aaron in the front row. Probably just looking for a little bit more defensive presence there. This time a nice pass by Fleming. Slapped over by Sanborn just inside the boundary. Beautiful placement by Lexi Sanborn for the kill. Thunder rotate, force now in for Perez. Short going for Joslyn, but she did her job. Criddle in for Fleming and Force will have the serve with two to go. Coach Chris tells her to hit zone five and she hits the net instead. Usually pretty reliable, but a little too aggressive on that one, and victory will have to wait. Side out to the crew. High toss, and another footfall, second of the match, by the same player. Usually that top server is your best. So a gift to the Thunder, and a match point, Haley Dyer has the serve. Jump serve is a spinner, overpassed. Criddle, Sanborn, with good communication, Barbosa down the line doesn't fall. Slapped over in two, Sanborn sees it. Dyer now keeps him comfortably out of the system. Off the block touch, hard slap by Barbosa. Rescued by Crew, but the third touch isn't there. It's gonna hit the floor, and the Thunder are gonna win it. 25-15, 25-21, victorious in their first match here at the National Christian Homeschool Volleyball Championship. We're gonna take a quick break, a two hour break, and we'll be back with back-to-back -back matches. Stick with us for all your tournament coverage on Thunder TV.